thrilled to be here this evening. It feels like I'm a little girl in a candy store, and I've never really been in this candy store before, so it's really exciting. Awesome. I'm happy to be here. Good answer. I love it. <laughs> so, <I'm> hungry, okay. <laughs> that's the truth. I'm hungry. Um, so, talk to me a little bit about what you, what was your reaction when you found out that there was going to be a season two? Well, I wasn't in season one, so I was very happy to do season two because now I'm going to be in it. But I mean, I think that it's a really beautiful thing to do season two because that means a lot of people are appreciating the story for what it is. And it's not just about being Latino, it's about anybody loving these universal stories and impacting them. So having a fan base like that is important because it makes us know that we have something important to say to other people as well. And then talk to me a little bit about what was being on set with the cast like. Did you have any favorite memories or anything like that? Oh my God, it feels like being at your New Year's party with all your aunts and uncles and your cousins that are Latinos and everybody's cracking jokes and everybody's joking. It's just like, it feels like family and home. And that's something that I never had in my, in my career before. I was a sports journalist and I still am, but now it's just more about being comfortable, being yourself, and embracing that, and everyone around you gets it. We don't have to explain jokes or explain, you know, the common things that we say. It's just a really beautiful environment. And then final question to you is, is there anything in season two that, obviously, generally speaking, not going to spoil anything, but is there anything in particular that you are looking forward to to share with the fans? Lots of love. Lots of love. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned because the Muse TV network launches in January of 2022.